For the past seven years, Jean Ropas has been researching how cheese molds adapt for the French National Center for Scientific Research outside Paris. And in 2024, it was her lab that sounded the alarm that Penicillium camemberti could be on the verge of extinction. The mold has another genetic mutation that makes it reproduce asexually. To replicate on cheese crusts, it releases spores that are genetic copies of their parents, aka clones. After over a century of cloning, Penicillium camemberti is producing fewer spores than it used to. If you don't have spores, it's difficult even for the cheese producers to have a good amount of penicillium to sell it. And Jean worries more cloning will only cause more bad mutations. It's also really unlikely we would find another Penicillium camemberti in the wild. It developed that white color likely because it was growing in a dark cheese cave, but that also leaves it with very little protection. The blue color of the ancestral mold is almost like a sunscreen that protects it from the stress of UV light. The lack of genetic diversity makes it susceptible to pests too. A disease could quickly wipe out the whole strain. 